The dream takes flight, Kaveri's inception and design. India embarked on a great journey. This journey was into the heart of aerospace technology. The GTRE GTX 35 VS Kaveri engine became a symbol. It represented India's soaring ambition for self-reliance. Imagine a nation striving to build its own jet engine. This is not a simple task. It is a feat of complex engineering and immense dedication. The Kaveri engine was meant to power India's own fighter aircraft. Its story is one of bold dreams and the relentless pursuit of technological independence. This quest would test the limits of ingenuity. It would also pave the way for future achievements in the skies and beyond. The Kaveri project officially began its ambitious voyage in 1986. The Gas Turbine Research Establishment, or GTRE, was at the helm. Its primary mission was clear and incredibly challenging. It was to develop an indigenous engine for the Hal Tejas. The Tejas is India's light combat aircraft, a source of national pride. To design an engine for such an aircraft was a monumental undertaking. It required mastering technologies few nations possess. The success of the Tejas program is deeply intertwined with the Kaveri's progress. This endeavour was more than just an engineering project, it was a statement of India's growing technological prowess on the world stage. The Kaveri engine was conceived as an afterburning turbofan. This type of engine provides extra thrust when needed. This extra push is crucial for combat maneuvers and supersonic flight. Think of it as a powerful booster for a fighter jet. The afterburner injects fuel directly into the hot exhaust gases. This ignites the fuel, creating a spectacular flame and immense power. The core of the Kaveri is designed to be efficient for a normal flight. But when the pilot demands more, the afterburner roars to life. This dual nature is essential for modern fighter aircraft performance. The Kaveri aims to deliver this critical capability. At its heart, the Kaveri features a sophisticated two-spool axial compressor design. This means it has two rotating shafts or spools instead of one. Each spool has its own set of compressor blades in turbine stages. The low-pressure spool and the high-pressure spool spin at different speeds. This arrangement allows for greater efficiency and a higher pressure ratio. This is vital for achieving the required thrust and fuel economy. The engine also incorporates advanced materials. These materials must withstand extreme temperatures and pressures. The design is a complex puzzle with many intricate parts working in harmony. The gauntlet of development trials and tribulations. Developing such a complex machine was never going to be easy. The Kaveri project encountered many hurdles along its path. These challenges led to significant development slowdowns. The initial timeline set with great optimism proved difficult to meet. This is a common story in the world of cutting-edge technology. Pushing the boundaries of science and engineering often takes longer than expected. The team at GTRE faced a steep learning curve. They were venturing into territory with few maps to guide them. Each setback, however, also brought valuable lessons. The journey was as important as the destination. Several specific technical issues plagued the Kaveri's development. Achieving the targeted thrust, especially at high altitudes, was a persistent problem. Fighter engines must perform flawlessly in the thin air miles above the earth. The engine also needed to be lightweight yet powerful. This meant using advanced alloys and composite materials. Sourcing or developing these materials indigenously was a challenge in itself. The integration of the engine's many complex subsystems also presented difficulties. Ensuring all parts worked together perfectly under extreme stress required painstaking effort. International sanctions during certain periods also restricted access to critical technologies and components, further complicating progress. As the Hal Tejas aircraft program moved forward, it needed a certified engine. The Kaveri, despite dedicated efforts, was not yet ready for this crucial step. By 2008, a pragmatic decision was made for the Tejas. India opted to use the American-made General Electric F404 engine. This engine would power the initial production versions of the Tejas. This was a practical choice. It ensured that the Tejas aircraft could enter service without further delays. The dream of an Indian-powered Tejas was deferred, but not abandoned. The focus of the Kaveri program began to evolve. This shift to the GE engine had significant implications. For the Tejas, it meant a reliable, proven power plant. This allowed the aircraft to meet its operational requirements sooner. For the Kaveri project, it meant a change in immediate application. However, it did not signify the end of the road for this indigenous effort. 
The knowledge, experience and infrastructure developed were immensely valuable. The Caveri continued to be developed, albeit with revised goals. It highlighted the incredible difficulty of mastering advanced aero engine technology from the ground up. The program persevered, adapting to new realities and seeking new applications for its technology. New Frontiers Cavalry's reimagined role and capabilities. The Cavalry engine found a new purpose. It was identified as a suitable power plant for India's Gatak UKAV program. UCAV stands for Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle. These are advanced pilotless aircraft designed for combat roles. The Gatak program required a dependable indigenous engine. A dry version of the Kaveri without the afterburner was deemed appropriate. This adaptation showcased the inherent flexibility of the Kaveri's core design. It was a significant pivot steering the project towards a new vital application. This demonstrated that the years of research and development were not in vain. The performance metrics for the Kaveri engine vary between its different versions. The dry Kaveri, developed for the Gatak UCRV, is designed to produce around 52 kN of thrust. This level of power is well suited for an unmanned stealth aircraft. It provides a good balance of performance and efficiency for such a platform. The original wet version of the Kaveri, with its afterburner, was more powerful. It was intended to generate a maximum thrust of about 81 kN. This higher thrust was necessary for the demanding maneuvers of a light combat aircraft like the Teja. These figures illustrate the engine's adaptability. A crucial aspect of the Kaveri journey has been fostering indigenous manufacturing capabilities. Several Indian companies have played important roles. Firms like Godrej Aerospace and Azad Engineering have been key partners. They have contributed to manufacturing critical components and complex systems for the engine. This involvement has helped build a robust domestic aerospace manufacturing ecosystem. This is a vital long-term benefit. It reduces reliance on foreign suppliers. It also creates skilled jobs and boosts technological self-sufficiency within India. The Kaveri project, therefore, has had a wider industrial impact. The development of the Kaveri has helped strengthen India's aerospace industrial base. It pushed Indian companies to upgrade their skills and technologies. They learned to work with exotic materials and meet stringent quality standards. This experience is invaluable for future aerospace projects. The establishment of a supply chain for complex engine components is a significant achievement. It signifies a maturation of India's manufacturing sector. This growing ecosystem is essential for supporting long-term ambitions. These include developing even more advanced engines and aircraft systems in the future. The Cavalry has been a catalyst for this growth. Enduring legacy derivatives, testing and the path ahead. The core technology developed for the Cavalry engine has spawned derivative projects. One notable example is the Cavalry Marine Gas Turbine or KMGT. This is a version of the engine adapted for naval applications. It is being developed to power Indian Navy warships. This diversification shows the versatility of the underlying design. Furthermore, the lessons learned from the Kaveri program are invaluable. They are informing the development strategy for India's future fighter engines. This includes the engine plan for the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft or AMCA. Kaveri's experience provides a crucial foundation. The Kaveri engine has undergone an incredibly extensive testing program. Over many years, numerous prototypes have been built and tested. More than 3,200 hours of ground-based tests have been completed. These tests were conducted under a wide range of simulated conditions. They helped engineers validate the engine's performance and identify areas for improvement. Importantly, high-altitude testing was also carried out. Some of these crucial tests took place in specialized facilities in Russia. Each test, successful or not, provided vital data. This data has been instrumental in refining the engine's design and understanding its behavior. The future outlook for indigenous jet engine development in India is brighter because of the Kaveri. While it may not power the initial Tejas versions, its technological contributions are undeniable. The Kaveri serves as a critical stepping stone. It provides a wealth of experience for more advanced engine programs. India continues to pursue self-reliance in this strategic sector. The journey of the Kaveri has equipped Indian scientists and engineers with unique skills. 
The challenges overcome have built resilience and expertise. This human capital is perhaps the program's most significant long-term asset. In conclusion, the GTRE GTX 35 VS Caveri engine holds a significant legacy. It is more than just a piece of hardware. It represents a long and arduous learning journey for India. This journey has been filled with challenges, perseverance and valuable lessons. The Caveri has laid a robust foundation for future advancements in aerospace propulsion. It has fostered an ecosystem of research, development and manufacturing. The dream of a fully indigenous Indian jet engine powering Indian aircraft remains alive. The Kaveri, in its various forms and through its technological offshoots, will continue to contribute to India's aerospace ambitions for years to come.